Today, I want to talk about GPU pricing. We've seen them fall pretty hard in the last couple of months, but is this trend going to continue? Well, let's talk about that on your boot sequence. Now, to talk about the future, we of course need to look back at what has been happening in the past. That's because even in a pre-pandemic world, GPU prices were already starting to shift. Or were they? Now, we need to lock on to NVIDIA GPUs here because they've been the most consistent company when it comes to GPU releases. There were barely any refreshes and the architecture evolved constantly. So let's go back a little over 10 years and look at the 80 series, starting with the GeForce GTX 480, the GPU that people literally fried eggs on. As the top of the line in its category, it had a price tag of $499. Fast forward to the GTX 580 and same thing, $499. I can't believe these two were both released within the same year. Anyways, moving on, we got the GTX 680 and wow, $500 again. But things change with the GTX 780. It was released at $649 in May of 2013, but the price was then dropped to $499 five months later. That's because the 290X from AMD destroyed it while being $100 cheaper. Then we had the GTX 980 at $549, the GTX 1080 at $599, and finally the RTX 2080 at $699. So it seems like right at the end here, the prices ran up pretty fast, but did they really? Now, let me play devil's advocate here. If we had these prices adjusted to US inflation, this is what the pricing of these GPUs would look like. So while we see somewhat of a trend here upwards, the minimum a GPU manufacturer can sell their GPUs at didn't change all that much. Now, of course, in the last two years with COVID in the air, these manufacturers suggested prices didn't mean much. Starting in 2020, production was essentially slowed down to a crawl. That's because without a pandemic, it takes roughly six months for mass production of a GPU. And when you factor in the pandemic, let's just say that mass production becomes, yeah, we got a couple of those in the back of the warehouse. And that's if the GPUs made it to the warehouse, because a lot of it got stuck at the ports for COVID related reasons, or stolen by some thieves in the back of a truck. To add to this insanity that was 2020, we had the whole scalping situation where every launch of NVIDIA GPUs got consistently scalped by bots until out of stock and resold at an insane premium. And both NVIDIA and AMD couldn't do anything against them. And of course, we saw the rise in the cryptocurrency popularity, which made more and more people start mining with home setups. And mining farms expanded their own operations. Basically, it was a perfect storm of supply go down, demand go up, price go through the roof. And we haven't even mentioned things like tariff exemptions expiring in 2020, the price of precious metals skyrocketing, and components on a board getting more and more expensive. But you know what? It looks like we're going to be be fine right now. It's 2022 and prices are finally, and more importantly, steadily going down. Take the 3060 Ti, for example, a card that has an MSRP of 399 USD. Well, at its peak, it would consistently sell for over a thousand dollars. Now in April of 2022, you can sometimes find it in stock for 569. An RTX 3080 with a MSRP of 699 would have sold for over $2,000 in 2021. And now you can find it for about 950 bucks. Now you might notice that it's still not quite the suggested price. In fact, it's still about 30% or more above the suggested price. So where are GPU prices going to go from here? Are we looking at the prices falling down to MSRP? Are we in steady waters? Or is this just a calm before the storm? Well, let's look at what is happening right now in terms of manufacturing. It looks like delays are still a thing. While not as bad as 2021, China is still experiencing lockdowns. With that, we of course have the current war in Ukraine. Not only does this war put pressures on the supply chain, but Ukraine is the world's largest supplier in multiple noble gases, such as neon, xenon, and krypton. And the sector that consumes 75% of that neon produced in the world is of course the 
semiconductor industry. In the last couple of years, we also saw rare earth metal prices skyrocket, and all of those things will compound into higher pricing for us, the consumer. But wait a second, I just said that price have been going down steadily, so what gives? Well, here's my take on this. Right now, prices went down from insanely overpriced to simply overpriced. We're on the tail end of the crypto mining boom where companies who were in the game have sort of tapered off their mass GPU purchases and people who were new to mining have sort of completed their rigs. Currently, the most profitable coin is still Ethereum. And because it's supposed to go proof of stake this year, if someone wanted to start a mining farm right now or expand theirs, it would take them years to recoup the cost of their GPUs, making it unprofitable. And that's why prices have dropped slightly. Unfortunately, this is where all of the rest comes in. The lockdowns, the war, the shortages, rare earth metal prices, and the logistics. That's why retail prices are still very high. And it looks like these higher prices might creep up even more into the next generation. Not only that, but it seems like AMD and Nvidia are both reluctant to mentioning MSRP nowadays. And lastly, to go back at mining for a second, the game is not over. Unless all three companies implement some sort of mining block for their next gen GPUs, we're likely to see the exact same thing we saw in late 2020 and throughout 2021. Miners and scalpers are gonna make sure that these GPUs are unavailable and expensive. So once again, I ask, what about the future of GPU pricing? Well, it looks pretty bleak to me. We've seen it on the lower end already with the RTX 3050 and the RX 6500 XT, but I have a feeling that price to performance might stagnate again for a couple of years, meaning that if you buy an RTX 3080 right now or a theoretical RTX 4060 when it comes out and that 4060 would perform just as good as the RTX 3080, the price difference might just be non-existent, meaning they would be the same price across the board. I guess time will tell if I'm correct on that or not, but we've seen that with the 6500 XT and the 5500 XT and the RTX 3050 and the 1660 Ti, I believe. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment to tell me what you think of the current situation with GPUs. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll punt this llama on the next one. Take care. <laughs> Always stalling, always stalling Yeah, no one's riding, but I've been riding For you, for you, I